Okay, so now that I've finished my optimization guide showing you how to get the best performance out of Helldivers 2, there's one glaring issue that we need to touch on. That is Helldivers 2's anti-cheat. It's NProtect Game Guard, one of those kernel level anti-cheats that gets really deep in your system and runs in the background. Valorant has one of the most invasive and difficult to work with anti-cheats, Vanguard. I've had many issues with it, including but not limited to disabling your keyboard in Windows after you log in and weird things like that that I've covered before. NProtect doesn't seem nearly as bad as what those ones are, but people are very unhappy happy about its inclusion in the game and are review bombing it on Steam. Most of what people are complaining about is when you uninstall the game, the anti-cheat sticks around. Now, while this may be true for other games like I think it's PBO2 or something like that, when you uninstall those games, they don't automatically uninstall the invasive and protect anti-cheat. You need to go to different websites and download a specific uninstaller to do that task for you. For example, PSO2 has an anti-cheat uninstaller, gguninst.exe, that's available on their website, albeit in Japanese. Undecember also included the nProtect anti-cheat and in an official Steam post of theirs from 2022, they posted a delete link for nProtect as well. That's because both of these games, as far as I understand, don't automatically uninstall the anti-cheat when you uninstall the game. The reason being that you may have other games that rely on it and here are two that we've just mentioned. The official nProtect website also speaks about uninstall where they provide their own uninstaller linked here. This is hosted by the actual company that made the anti-cheat, so if there's anyone that you're going to be downloading, it probably should be this one here. But before we continue, this is what the uninstaller looks like. We can click yes, and the uninstall completes. That's it. Let's quickly quit out of the game, head across to the game on Steam, right-click, manage, and browse, and in here, searching for GG Uninst, we find the uninstaller for the anti-cheat here, located in the game's install folder, followed by tools, here it is here, as well as the installer for the anti-cheat. This, I assume, isn't included with most games that have this anti-cheat, and it's something you need to download from an external source in order to remove it. However, it's definitely included here. One of the main things I've seen people complain about is the GameMon DLL, which sticks around in System32, which is C Windows System32 in here, GameMon, but it's not in this folder. This game actually installs it to SysWow64, GameMon, here it is here, GameMon.des. This is the anti-cheats driver, as far as I understand. Now, as we've already established that games published with this anti-cheat usually don't include an uninstaller, let's try and uninstall it. Right click, manage and uninstall. There we go. One of the first bits that pops up is the NProtect Game Guard uninstaller. If we choose yes and okay, you'll see it looks exactly like this pop up here from the official NProtect Game Guard website. And just like that, the anti cheat's been uninstalled. It should no longer be on our system. If we have a look in the games install folder, which should have been deleted, but I was in here, so it's left over. In the tools folder, the anti cheat installer is gone. If we go back then into bin Game Guard, you'll see there's a couple of leftover files here, including the driver, as far as I understand, but this folder shouldn't be active at all. I'm not too sure why it's left behind, but if we delete this folder, it's not in use by anything, meaning the anti-cheat is turned off. And it seems like I can't delete this empty folder for some reason or another, but anyways, there's nothing left of the game or the anti-cheat there. If we have a look in SysWow64, refresh and search for game mon, it's gone. It's no longer him. The anti-cheat is completely removed. If we quickly search my PC using everything, the only place you can find the remaining file is inside of the recycle bin from the folder that we just deleted in the game's installation directory. That's it. It's completely uninstalled and taken off our system. So as bad as it is that this game is using an invasive anti-cheat that a lot of people don't like, props to them for including the uninstaller with the actual uninstallation of the game, meaning that nothing is really left over on your system, it's not running in the background, etc. The same can't be said about some other games and their invasive anti-cheats, but even though it may not be the best choice here, they've definitely done a relatively good job of making sure it's completely gone. Now, as for whether these reviews were made before a small patch that included this update and the uninstaller, I'm not entirely sure, but at least as of today, the same day as release, probably maybe six or seven hours into the release, the uninstaller is included with the game and the anti-cheat vanishes as soon as we uninstall the game itself. So does it deserve all of the flack that it's getting? Well, to be honest, I don't think it deserves as much flack as some people are giving it in some regards. 
While it may be an invasive anti-cheat, it goes away when you delete the game, unlike other ones that have nProtect implemented in similar ways. Hopefully they do change it to something more like easy anti-cheat or something that's a little bit more trusted by the community in general. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Hopefully it enlightened you. And if you're thinking about not buying Helldivers because of the anti-cheat that's included, as many people say, maybe this will change your opinion about it. So thank you all for watching. My name's Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.